بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وی آر اسٹارٹنگ دا قرآن دا سیکنڈ ورس البقرہ دس از ٹوڈیز آر ٹاپک اٹ از پلگریمج پلس وار اگینسٹ پرزیکیوشن وچ از کالڈ جہاد ان دا قرآن کائنڈلی نوٹ دیٹ ان دیز ورسز دس لا پالیسیز اینڈ پروسیجرز اینڈ پلگریمج اسپیشلی and avoid innovation in religious rituals it is not allowed to us and war against persecution is also mentioned in details kindly note that such words al baqara revealed at the time when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam get this government at madina and at the, that time people wanted to give this pilgrimage to go to makkah and do it but the problem was that the leadership of makkah they wanted that such muslims were not allowed to give this pilgrimage so that's why this question was there so then god explained their answer in details so we will discuss this study that what was the real scenario <clears throat> because this was a special scenario bismillah rahman rahim in the name of god the most gracious the ever merciful يسالونك عن الاهله قل هي مواقيت للناس والحج وليس البر بان تاتوا البيوت من ظهورها ولكن البر من التقى واتوا البيوت من ابوابها واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون دي question you about the sacred months which are the four months of pilgrimage when war is not allowed since abraham al islam tell them they are a time for the welfare of people and for the pilgrimage therefore the, their sanctity shall continue the way it way it was now that you have raised the question you should know that virtue does not consist in entering you your home from the back wall after coming back after pilgrimage but real virtue is for the person who fears god therefore enter your home by their doors and keep fearing god so that you may get benefit of it so what is pilgrimage pilgrimage is that you go to makkah which is right now in saudi arabia you go in this city because which was established by prophet ibrahim al islam that go there and give is an example a war against shaitan so this is an example and we'll have to establish a relationship with god so this is the main objective of that and especially these four months was the for this pilgrimage so it was not allowed for all the arab tribes to give any war so now when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam established this government so people of makkah who wanted a war with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam at that time companions radiyallahu anhu asked about that if we go to pilgrim and 
the people start this war then what to do then god give them answer that you will have to take care of these four months of according to this hijra calendar this is month number 5 11 12th and 1st so 11 12th and 1st is why because 12 months is for hajj and 11th is just the travel and 1st is also travel back to your home so this was that and the 5th month is especially for umrah which is a, a simple method of pilgrimage another method was given by god through ibrahim alayhi salam it was continuously working today so for these four months it was not allowed any war then companions asked about it then god explained that you should have to continuously care about it you will not do any war but if they start then you'll have to do it you can go for this pilgrimage in mecca because mecca at that time their leadership was against prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they wanted to give a war this was the scenario these arab people they also established this innovation that whenever you go back to your home after pilgrimage you go to your home don't go directly in the door but you'll have to go from the back side just jump and go inside your home then god explained that don't take care of their innovations because this is not the law of god these are just a new ideas they have created this 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 has nothing to do with this avoid this then god explained that during pilgrimage what will happen if war happen then god explained wa qatilu fi sabili llahi alladhina yuqatilunakum wa la ta'tadu inna allah la yuhibbu almu'tadin wa qtuluhum haythu سقفتموهم واخرجوهم من حيث اخرجوكم والفتنه اشد من القتل ولا تقاتلوهم عند المسجد الحرام حتى يقاتلوكم فيه فان قاتلوكم فاقتلوهم كذلك جزاء الكافرين فان انتهوا فان الله غفور رحيم fight in the way of god with those who fight against you to stop you from offering pilgrim as a persecution and don't transgress bounds in this fighting indeed god does not love the transgressors kill them wherever you find these who fight against you and drive them out of the place from which they kidded out you and remember persecution is worse than war don't initiate war with them near the holy kaaba unless they attack you in it but if they attack you put them to the weapons without any hesitation thus should such disbelievers be punished however if they desist god is forgiving and ever merciful so actually it this war was not allowed to do in makka because it happens in this pilgrim happened since ibrahim till today around 4000 years happened and it is continuously working so god explains that if these people of makkah they start this persecution then it is allowed for you to give war against them this is called jihad because 
when prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam lived in makka so people of their leadership what they do they did this persecution against prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and companions radiyallahu anhum according to them and did this torture through the body or psychological torture they continuously did it and then god gave an authority to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam to travel and go to madina and god gave a great government to them so that this persecution was finished in madina but still at that time when this al baqara this verse was revealed at that time the people of makka were planning a war against madina so then god has explained that this persecution is worse than war you have to finish this persecution and if they do it continuously you will have to give this war and after around 8 years this happened that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam go to makkah and give this war but war did not happen and all the people just accepted the message of the quran and as a result of that persecution was finished this happened but before this three times they gave a war against prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they came to madina to give a war so then god has explained that if this persecution will happen then even for the four months of pilgrim this war is allowed to you this further explain maqatiluhum hatta la takuna fitnatun wa yakuna ad-din lillah fa in tahu wa la udwana illa ala zalimin ash-shahr al-haram bi shahr al-haram wal hurumat qisas faman i'tada alaykum fa'tadu alayhi bi misli ma'tada alaykum wattaqullaha wa alamu anna allaha ma'al muttaqin wa anfiqu fi sabili llahi wala tulqu bi aydikum ila ila tahalluka wa ahsinu inna allaha yuhibbul muhsinin keep fighting against them until persecution ends and in this land god's religious responsibilities give freedom however if they desist you should know that an offensive is only allowed against the tyrants a sacred months for a sacred months and similarly other sacred things to are subject to re- retaliation so if anyone transgresses against you you should also pay back in the same coin and have fear of god and keep in mind that god is with those who remain within the bounds set by him for this war against persecution spent generally generously for the cause of god and by evading it don't with you own hands cast yourselves into destruction and spend gracious because god loves those who are gracious because this pilgrim was the most important activity of worship and god has explained them that the four months no war is not allowed but now as an exception god has 
given them authority that to finish this persecution you can do it but don't start it if these people of makka they started then you can do it this watch so this is allowed and it is allowed for them you can go to makka and give this pilgrim you'll have to do it explained so now let me explain what is pilgrim what are the steps you have to do it just this is an overview of it that when you want to go this pilgrim so what is the sops policies and procedures or what are they that first step is intention you have to give the intention that yes i am going going to pilgrim and getting garments then you'll have to do it the pilgrim to enter pilgrim in specific locations which is called mikar the first of all you have to go the intention you have to travel and you'll have to go to makkah and before makkah there are boundaries which is called miqat at miqat you'll have to change your garments and garments of this pilgrim you'll have to take it you'll have to continuously say it and especially at miqat you'll have to say it this labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik allahumma labbaik labbaik la sharika lak labbaik innal hamda wan ni'mata lak wal mulk la sharika lak oh god i am available to you there is no god except you of course praise and grace for you and the kingdom of the universe has no partner for you so this is especially will have to continuously say in arabic it is labbaik allahumma labbaik you can memorize it and also memorize its meaning as well in the english as well you will have to say this and this pilgrim is actually a presentation of war against shaitan any unethical ideas will have to avoid in the life and one time in your life you will have to give this practice of pilgrim so that in the whole life you will have to avoid it then the third step is especially when we get this garments of pilgrim at that time some activities are not allowed abuse unethical activities sexy activities with wife and husband it is not allowed and for others it is not allowed any time hunting animals is not allowed cutting hair and nails are not allowed using perfume is not allowed wearing shoon garments are not allowed because in this pilgrim this garments are without swing any garments covering heads for men are not allowed and cutting down trees are not allowed during the makkah then sir circumambulation around kaaba you will have to go to kaaba and you will have to do this this is called tawaf in arabic in english you can say is sir circumambulation you will have to do this you can see this is the boundary of miqat where you will have to start this you have to give this especially garments of this pilgrim you will have to go, go this exception is only from the madina it miqat started this time but for the other locations this is around this one then you will have to go to kaaba this is called tawaf you will have to do this this is your next step do this then walk in safa and marwa is also a great activity that you have to walk from safa and marwa these are the two small 
mountains you will have to walk between them and this activities are war against shatha and relationship you will have to establish with god then fifth step you will have to go to umrah if you want only umrah then it is finished after the safa marwa then it is finished and then you will have to cut down your hair and nails and then your umrah is finished umrah is the version of pilgrimage which is an very easy within some hours it is done but for hajj is a long activity that major pilgrim this is the major pilgrim which is called hajj don't cutting here because right now you do umrah first time but you will not cutting here for still because during this garments of pilgrim you are not allowed to use perfume and you are not allowed to cutting here and nails and any hunting animals or cutting any trees are not allowed for us right now it is not very important for previous it was big issues because people had food only through hunting but right now it's not an issue for you not a big thing then seven steps you have to go this garments of hajj if if you have not lived it like for umrah it is finished people leave their garments of hajj but after many days you have to start hajj you have to get garments again and you go to mina mina is a location especially at 8 zul hajj which is the 12th month of mina is near makka which is uh, near this al haram it is around 500 km mina is the this is white color this is you will have to go this then what you will have to go next step is you will have to go to arafat at 9th zulhij and you have to pray for god then you will have to go to muzdalfa at night at which start the 10th zulhij night ye yeah, from mina you will have to go to arafat this is around 13 14 100 years uh, sorry 13 14 km long you have to go to arafat then in night you go to muzdalfa and night you have to stay this muzdalfa which is here then on the 10th zulhij you will go back to mina in mina what you will have to do this give sacrifice you, you have to start the sacrifice previously people take their animals and give this sacrifice there in mina right now there pilgrims are too many persons therefore the government make this responsibility that you have to give give money to the government and government make this action of sacrifice in mina then after this sacrifice you have to leave the garments of pilgrim and shave or cut your hairs and then because this shave or cut this is just a sample that we are the slaves of god bas that's it this is a sample we'll do it and then we go to jamarat jamarat is what jamarat is special area is an sample of shaitan and will have a war against shaitan you can see that these are the pictures these are the mina also slaughter point is also there jamarat is the sample of shaitan which is also available in mina 13 km is arafat where in hajj which is just you will have to live for one day then one night you have to live in muzdalfa these are the just example in jamarat you will have to kill shaitan this is a sample and sample is just simple stones you will have to kill 
with shaitan. This example is just to explain that we'll have to avoid any relationship with shaitan in future life. The next step, 10th step, you'll have to go this after war against shaitan, you'll have to go to Al-Haram. Al-Haram, you'll have to go this and then circumambulate. You'll have to go this, this tawaf, you'll have to do this is Kaaba. And with this Kaaba, also, if you have time, you can go this Safa and Marwa and then go back to Mina. And you'll have to live for two or three days for that day live this in Hajj. During 11th or 12 days or 11th or 13 days, two or three days are allowed for them. Then Zul Hajj continuously, war continuously, you'll have to do this against Shaitan for two days or three days, you'll have to do this. Then at the last day, you have to give this circumambulate against in Kaaba. This is just a sample relation with God. Go this and go back to your country or city wherever you live it. So this is, these are the steps of this pilgrim. So now, all this God has explained in the Quran. Then, questions were asked about pilgrim, then God gave the answers. وَأَتِمُّ الْحَجَّ وَالْعُمْرَةَ لِلَّهِ فَإِنْ أُحْسِرْتُمْ فَمَسْتَيْسَرَ مِنَ الْهُدْيِ وَلَا تَحْلِقُوا رُؤُوسَكُمْ حَتَّى يَبْلُغَ الْحَدْجُ مَحِلَّهِ فَمَنْ قَانَ مِنْكُمْ مَرِيدًا أَوْ بِهِ عَزَمْ مِنْ رَأْسِهِ فَفِدِيَةٌ مِنْ صِيَامٍ أَوْ صَدَقَةٍ أَوْ نُسُقْ فَإِذَا أَمِنْتُمْ فَمَنْ تَمَتَّعَ بِالْعُمْرَةِ إِلَى الْحَجِّ فَمَسْتَيْسَرَ مِنَ الْحَدِ فَمَنْ لَمْ يَجِدْ فَصِيَامُ ثَلَاثَةِ أَيَّامٍ فِي الْحَجِّ وَسَبْعَةٍ إِذَا رَجَعْتُمْ تِلْكَ عَشَرَةٌ كَامِلَةٌ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ لَكُمْ يَكُنْ أَهْلُهُ حَاضِرِهِ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَابِ بَتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ If the way to Hajj and Umrah if is open for you then complete them with all their rights of God only. However, if you are closed in the way, sacrifice the offering and that are available to you and don't shave your heads until the sacrificial offerings have reached their destination, which is in Makkah. But if any of you is ill or suffers from an ailment of the head and is forced to shave his head before sacrificing an animal, he must atone for this either by fasting or pay to poor people or by offering an animal as sacrifice. So when circumstances become peaceful for you, anyone among you who drives the benefit of doing Umrah from this journey for Hajj till its time comes must offer animal sacrifice as her or she can afford, aff affords. But if this is not available to him or her who should fast three days during Hajj and seven days when you return to your home. These are ten days in all. This concession to combine Hajj and Umrah is one journey is only for those whose houses are not near the 
holy mosque. Have fear of God and you should know that God is stern in retribution. So you should be careful for everything and these especially rights are given in the Quran. At the time of Quran some questions were asked and give four answers. First answer is that if you are you should go in normal way for Hajj and Umrah. Hajj is the big pilgrim and Umrah is easy and small pilgrim. If you go this but if people close in the way like especially when Prophet Muhammad وسلم, established his government so especially for companions Makkah people did not allow them to give this Hajj or Umrah because they wanted to start a war so God allowed them that okay that's okay if they do this and in between what you'll have to do that you'll have to definitely at that time people bring their animals so at any time when the road was closed then what you'll have to do you have to just slaughter your offering and you'll have to give this give it to Makkah that's it and your Hajj is enough for you done but just wait that this slaughtering this animal when this animal is given to Makkah at that time you'll you should avoid shaving but if you have some problem of this ill or suffers of some ailment of this you are going to shave your head you can do it but as a penalty you'll have to pay that you have to give some money you have to go to the poor person whatever you will easy for you or <laughs> offering any animal you can give it it is allowed to you and definitely it is not applicable right now not but sometimes when at the time of war such may happen so that's why such is available in the Quran such options and it is allowed that in one journey it is allowed that you can go this Umrah plus Hajj both in one travel you can do it but you'll have to give this penalty that you'll have to give 10 days fasting you have to do 3 days in Makkah and remaining 7 days when you go to your home do 7 days at that time and God explained that this in one journey Hajj plus Umrah in one time you do it but this is only for those persons who don't live near Makkah like people in from different countries who are coming for this Hajj and Umrah they can do it in one journey they can do it but the people who live in Saudi Arabia near Makkah like in Jeddah or city Taif which are near to Makkah so then you should not do Hajj and Umrah in one journey you have to do Hajj in one journey and Umrah you want to do it do it in the second journey do it so it is not allowed for them but for people of other countries they can get this benefit but plus you'll have to give this 10 days you'll have to do this fasting you'll have to do this then further questions were asked about this Hajj and Umrah further so continuously God explained 
الحج اشهر المعلومات فمن فرض فيهن الحج فلا رفخ ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج فما تفعلوا من خير يعلمه الله وتزودوا فإن خير خير الزاد التقوى واتقون يا أولي الألباب ليس عليكم جناح أن تبتغوا فضلا من ربكم فإذا أفضتم من عرفات فاذكروا الله عند المشعر الحرام واذكروه كما حداكم وإن كنتم من قبله لمن الضالي The months of Hajj are known. Therefore, anyone who intends to offer Hajj in them by wearing the Ahram garments should not indulge in lustful activities and refrain from being dis- disobedient to the Almighty and abstain from alter altercation 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 is not allowed bear in mind that whatever good you do the almighty is aware of it in this journey of hajj take along with you the provision of piety because the best provisions is the piety intellectual people keep care of me with this however it shall be no offense for you to seek the bounty of your lord but remember that muzdalifa is no place of amusement and trading when you depart from arafat remember good near the sacred monument and remember him in the way he has guided you before this you were undoubtedly in error so god has explained that the best practices are the ethics you will have to take care of it and during especially this journey of hajj don't give any lust activities or any unethical activity during hajj because this is not allowed at any time but especially at the time of pilgrim don't do it anything and be careful and keep this piety with you this is most important for you and intellectual people keep care of it in the whole life you have to do this because this life is just as an exam for us for that we give only ethical activities and will have to avoid unethical activities so that's why it is required and especially this happened that before prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam people did started their business especially in muzdalifa so then god explained that don't do it because you do business after hajj or before hajj you can do it but during this pilgrim don't do it because your main objective of this is that your remembership with god you should do this this is your responsibility people who don't give pilgrim don't give hajj it is allowed for them they can sell their products you can purchase especially food and these thing do it that's okay but during pilgrim it is not allowed for you to go to give any business and this is only for 5 days other than 5 days you can purchase and sell anything is allowed for you 
Then God further explained your questions. Summa afidu min haisu afada nasu wa astaghfirullah inna Allah ghafurur rahim faiza qadaytum manasikakum fazkurullah ka zikrikum abakum aw ashadd zikran fa inna nasi man yaqulu rabbana atina fi dunya wa ma lahu fil akhirati min khalaq wa minhum man yaqulu rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab an-nar so people had errors during pilgrim god explained that you should avoid these things so what are this god explain o people of the quraish this is also necessary that you return from the place or afar from where other people return and seek the forgiveness of god indeed god is forgiving and ever merciful so quraish was the tribes of makkah so they started innovation that they don't go to the arafat which is outside makkah so god explained that no this is responsibility for pilgrim you must go to arafat and then god further explained this also is necessary that after this when you have completed your rites of hajj remember god is fact even more as you remember your forefathers this is time of asking from god but there are some who at this instance also says lord whatever you intend to give give us it this world and then the result of this is that they shall have no share in the hereafter but there are other persons among them who says lord give us what is good both in this world and in the hereafter and save us from the torment of the fire so this must be your objective so actually their attitude is improved their personality development got them that people think that especially during pilgrim they requested god of the benefit of this life god said that if you will focus of this world this life only then you will not give benefit in the hereafter but good people should do this that they should request god to give good benefit in this world and also good benefit in the hereafter you should ask this and also request god to avoid this torment of the fire in the hell you should avoid this one this you should do this and also this was an just error of the arab people that during living for 5 days in mina people they started just a sort of a uh, for their leaderships they are asking about their lectures and these things god said that you should avoid them your focus must be to give relation with god this is the objective of pilgrim then god further explain ulaika lahum naseebun mimma kasabu wallahu sari'ul hisab waskurullah fi ayyam ma'dudat faman ta'jjala fi yawmayn fala ism alayhi waman ta'akhkhara fala ism alayhi liman ittaqa wattaqullaha wa'lamu annakum ilayhi tuhsharun remember that god is these few appointed days which are 10 to 13 zul hajj at mina then he who is in haste and departs on the second day incurs no problem there is also no problem if he or she stay on longer 
if he or she truly fear god and have fear of god and he aware that one day you shall all be gathered before him so actually these three days 11 12 13 or even god has allowed or 11 and 12 days after that you can depart you can go back to your country do it or if a person want to live for 13 zulhij 3 so they can live for that day it is allowed and the result of this will be in the hereafter so these two options are given as god and this pilgrim finished at 13 zulhij or 12 zulhij finished as a result of that after that if you want to live in makkah for some other days you can live it and for that what you will do you can only pray with god for that shit. but your pilgrimage is finished but you can want to live for some other days you can live it and you can give this pray from god in the especially in this masjid al haram which is in al haram and give this tawaf many times what you want to do this do it and people also go to madina because this is the mosque of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam do this and pray for god only so this is the journey of hajj so whatever questions feel free to send to me inshallah in the next lecture further we will discuss especially about the attitude during pilgrim what you should do so this will be the next lecture thanks a lot assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh